say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home Special thanks to Skylar Cole for that lovely performance of the National Anthem. We'll be right back, folks. What you know? What you know about rolling? Welcome, sports fans. Thank you for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. And this is Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Allie LaForce, our reporter tonight. Allie, it's all yours. Well, Nikola Jokic has transformed his conditioning. He said, when I first started playing back in Serbia, I couldn't do a push-up. And when I came here, I was probably the worst conditioned player in the league. I lost a lot of weight, and I feel much better. To be honest, I don't run faster, but I can play a lot longer. That's what matters. Brian? Yeah, it helps, for sure. Thanks, Allie. All right, let's check out the starting group for the Thunder. Baisley down low with Holmgren. Josh Giddy out there with Shea Gilgis-Alexander. And it's Dort in at the three. And for the Nuggets... Caldwell Pope and Porter Jr. They're the two and the three. Gordon is the four with the Joker in the middle. And it's Murray in at the point. Yeah, and despite being the youngest team in the league, the Thunder have been solid defensively the last couple of years. A great sign going forward for this franchise. It'll be the Thunder off the tip. Here's Holmgren, covered by Jokic. Here's Holmgren. Knocked loose. Outside Murray. Gordon with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Jokic. It's good on the putback. And Jokic, I think he thought he was with his brothers, wrestling around in there and bullied his way to grab that rebound. From deep, Gilgis Alexander. It's hauled in by Nikola Jokic. And looking at this Oklahoma City roster, what makes them so good on D? Oh, they have loads of length. The Thunder have made a point to draft players with huge wingspans, making things difficult for opponents scoring-wise. Now here's Murray. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Caldwell Pope. Here he goes. It's good. And another look at the mobile one drive as he put it into overdrive. Aggressive take there to get inside. They're looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. They set the pick. Pass to Holmgren. And he gets the bucket. The defensive effort was lacking a bit, but hey, give him credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Gets the three to fall. Well, there's a little bit of Murray's handle on display. The D looked totally confused as to what to do there. Here's Holmgren, covered by Jokic. Goes up from the top of the key. Denver grabs the miss. Uh, he wants that one over again. I guarantee that. Nobody's even in the neighborhood. Uneasy, too, on the layup. Jokic just got his second bucket of the game. And we may have an injury here. That does not look good. 
Yeah, that type of injury is always worrisome. Hopefully, he's okay. Yeah, it reminds you of what's really important, health number one. Everything else comes after that. And the Thunder making a change here. Man's checked in. And here's Gilgis Alexander. Pass to man. Door outside. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Four on the clock from 10 feet away. Porter pulls it in. Denver in the lead. But for Michael Porter Jr., no one has argued about his talent. It's been about health, Brent. Well, the top recruit back in his high school class, Michael had back surgery his first year of college, slid in the draft because of it. He's had a few more issues here, but Denver believes. They believe that they're going to get the best out of MPJ, and I hope we all see it. Here's Gilgis Alexander. After the Nuggets picked up a basket just a moment ago, and the basket is good. You're worried about the drive from Gilgis Alexander. I mean, he could still get in the mid-range and do damage. Pass to Jokic. 4-3. That shot missing. So Oklahoma City will take it the other way. Curry against Gilgis Alexander. Money from 12 feet away. Gilgis Alexander becoming more and more comfortable where he can score on the floor. Murray passes to Jokic. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Jokic has got six. I love this approach. Getting him involved early and it's already paying off. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. And that one's good. Holmgren. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. Denver has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Murray passes to Jokic. Back to Murray. And it's Murray finishing it off. Kind of amazing because Jokic has that passing ability and what it's done in terms of how the coaches run their offense around what he can do. Here's Baisley. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Sweet little floater. Gilgis Alexander, some imaginative offense on that play. The Nuggets have gone seven of nine, a solid percentage so far. Murray passes to Jokic. Shoots over Holmgren. And there's Jokic on the assist by Murray. Give him eight points now. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Gilgis Alexander against Murray. He connects. And now he's four for six in today's game. Keeping that ball absolutely on the string. Gilgis Alexander capable of getting creative. Here's Caldwell Pope. Pass to Jokic. Outside Murray. Fires from deep. Can't get it to go. Two for four thus far. The Thunder have gone six of nine and finding their rhythm now. Porter against Dort. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Fires for three. Ooh, coming through again. Shooting five for seven now. Gilgis Alexander needs to keep taking these shots in order for his game to expand. And guys, over the last several years, Denver's been top 10 in offensive rating. Now, they played a slower pace, but made the most of their possessions. Jokic, good. And with his height and his touch, he can be deadly from mid-range. That's a staple of his offensive attack, and proving once again, he can do some damage from that area. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. 11 points in the game. This is the jumper from the wing. Boy, this Denver team, great offensively over the last couple of seasons. How so? Well, B.A., they execute in the half courts. It's pretty simple. I mean, so difficult to do against NBA defenses. Now, normally they have multiple ball handlers on the floor, guys who can make quick decisions. Here's Gilgis Alexander. 
110 left in the first quarter of the game. And it's Denver with a rebound. Jokic passes to Murray. Back to Jokic. Outside Murray. Pass to Jokic. Outside for Porter. Let's the three fly. The shot is good on the assist by Jokic. And now it's a seven-point Denver lead. Porter in a comfortable place there. He likes the pass as being on target. He stays perfect in rhythm with that Jay. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Defended by Murray. Dort for three. Gordon pulls it in. Denver has gone just two for six from the arc here in the first. Pass to Murray. Back to Porter. Jokic with a screen on Dort. Here's Porter. Out to Gordon. Let's go with a three. Kept alive. He gets it off. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials getting together here. They may want to review this one. And it looks like they are going to review. The previous play is under review. Get the basket off in time or not. And I have to admit, it's really difficult to decipher exactly what happened. They'll go to the monitors as this is a big call. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. And the ruling is in. The call stands. No bucket. So no change in the score as we end the quarter. Good move to review that shot. That was really close to counting. It's been all about Nikola Jokic for the Denver Nuggets. He put... Just tuning in. Second quarter action is where we are. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for the Nuggets. They've done a great job facilitating shooters. Their early game has seen a lot of hot passes and has kept the defense guessing as well. Getting to the inside is really important, but it's how close you can get to the basket. It feels like these guys are all around the rim in their attack tonight. On the floor for Oklahoma City, getting going in the second. They've got Jeremiah Robinson Earl. Also, Derek Favors out there. Alexei Pokashevsky is out there with Kendrick Williams. And it's Wiggins in at the shooting guard position. Now here's Brown. Oh, persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. And the Nuggets lead by nine. And for Oklahoma City, they're shooting 54% from the field so far in this one. It's Pokashevsky on the wing, defended by Brown. Pass to Favors. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Grant, we always talk about great footwork from post players, but how about perimeter players? You know, I'm glad you brought that up, B.A. Great perimeter players have elite footwork. The footwork helps to create the opportunity to score, whether that's shooting a three off the dribble or even in the post-up. Great, elite, fantastic, iconic guards who could do it all have superior footwork. Believe that. Here's Pokashevsky looking for his first basket still in this one. Pass to Robinson Earl. Here's Pokashevsky. Williams on the wing. Here's Pokashevsky. Green covering. Pokashevsky the miss. That might not be the shot they want him taking, even with the D backing off. Highland. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Oklahoma City trailing. Wiggins outside. Pass to Robinson Earl. Takes the three. Called in by Brown. For Denver, they've gotten only one of four shots to go in. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Nikola Jokic again has won the league MVP, but he's not one to beat his own chest. He said, quote, I never think about it. I didn't come here to be the MVP of the league. I always think that somebody's better than me, and I want to compete to beat them. Just by that mentality alone, I'm the underdog every time. Right? Well, it's working for him, Ali. Thanks. Well, when we talk
talk home court advantage. You think the Nuggets have the best in the NBA? I think so, B.A., and it has to do with geography. Denver is at altitude, and that's hard on your body, trust me, I know. And they're isolated from the rest of the league, so it always is a long trip out there as well. Can't get the first one. Well, last season for the Thunder, Brent, their top eight guys by playing time, all 23 and under. You get experience for those guys, and there's really nothing that replicates game time, game action, game decisions. These guys all exposed to it last year, B.A. Let's see what kind of strides they make in this season. And the second free throw is good. And I look at this Denver team, and you just expect them to be good for a long time. Obviously, MVP and Jokic, but their best players, all young, signed the long-term deals. They should be able to compete. Defensively, got to close out a little faster. That's a look he'll make with regularity. Here's Robinson Earl, green covering. Here's Pokashevsky, and he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. Yeah, great job by the Nuggets putting together this core. They're set up for success for a while, Brent. Well, we saw that potential B.A. come out in the bubble getting to the conference finals, and now it's about getting key players back to health and at full capacity. And if they do that, I expect them to make the noise that uh, the Western Conference wants to avoid. Here's Robinson Earl. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Okashevsky the miss. For Denver, they've got two of seven attempts to drop since the end of the first quarter. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Pass to Green. Here's Highland. Takes a three. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. He's got six. I'm not sure who was supposed to be guarding him. Ridiculous laps there defensively. Here's Pokashevsky, defended by Brown. And here's Wiggins. Williams on the wing. Back to Wiggins. Here's Pokashevsky. Here's Favors. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. Favors gotten four this quarter. A qualified interior scorer. Favors uses size and skill to beat his man. Puts it up from 12. And another basket for Denver. Oklahoma City's gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Pass to Pokashevsky. It's Wiggins on the wing. Here's Robinson Earl. Now here's Wiggins. Beyond the arc. Sinks the trade. Pokashevsky's got five. How about the seven-footer out there knocking down threes? Poku from distance. Now a timeout called by Denver. After his first year in the league, Aaron Wiggins really fits the mold as a, a nice two-guard. Started the majority of the games at that position and showing some room for growth. And the Nuggets going with a whole new group out there for the Thunder. Gordon. Here's Caldwell Pope. And here's Porter from deep. Oh, he nails that one. Three for four now. And when you look at Aaron Wiggins, obviously just one full season in the league, but a productive one. Well, when you get a chance to start B.A. and then you have an off season, I think there are a lot of things that become crystallized for you in terms of how you're going to be effective in any minutes that you're given. So as a young player, Aaron Wiggins is accepting that role, that responsibility, and he'll come back better. Murray finds Jokic. Outside Murray. Pass to Jokic. Six to shoot. Let's it go from deep. And another three for Denver. You gotta be aware of Murray there. You just know he's aiming to get payback with a triple. Here's Holmgren, covered by Jokic. Here's Giltis Alexander, and that bucket makes him 6 for 10 in the contest. 
can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. Murray passes to Jokic. Now Porter. Outside Murray. Now here's Jokic. The D's right on him. Murray, no good. And even after airtight defense like that, you still just expect him to hit those kind of shots. Dort, right side. 125 left to play in the half. Pass to Holmgren. Here's Mann. Gilgis Alexander up top. Here's the three. The shot won't fall. Now Denver takes it the other way. Here's Caldwell Pope. And here's Porter outside. That falls. Nice feed from Jokic. Jokic has got his fourth assist in this one. Yeah, the D's going to want to find MPJ, especially from the corner. He's consistent from there. Here's Mann. They trail by 11. Dort outside. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. feet out. Oh, that bucket gives him his seventh field goal in 12 tries. Gilgis Alexander showing just how difficult he can be to guard at times. And here's Jokic. Porter with it. Down low. And a fast break now for the Thunder. Ford outside. Back to man. Gilgis Alexander on the wing. Clock at six. And it's rejected. What a swat by Aaron Gordon. That one no good. And so it's the Denver Nuggets with a nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. They've been lights out from deep. And it's a big reason why they have a lead in this one. Well, now, thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter. enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. You know, Shea Gilgis-Alexander has been exceptional here, guys. Through two quarters of play, he's been an excellent source of points. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. Murray and Caldwell Pope are the backcourt pairing. Porter Jr. and Gordon at the three and the four. And it's Jokic in at the center position. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Well, we're starting to see the pieces fall into place in OKC. Their number two overall pick, Chet Holmgren, showing tremendous promise. And the chemistry he's developing with Josh Giddy and SGA makes them very, very intriguing. To the paint, Baisley. Denver grabs the miss. We'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space. Just clanked it. Shot from the top of the key. And they recover it. Pass to Gordon. Now Murray. Jokic with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Murray, shot is good. Oh, and I love that spread. That's Murray's bread and butter stretching out the defense. He was way behind the arc. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. Incredible. It sometimes falls to the point guard to be the offensive catalyst. Seems like he always knows when his squad needs a lift. Did you see how much air he had under him? Wow. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. Pass to Holmgren. Hey, go, go. Right here, right here. 
Over Jokic. And it's Holmgren missing. The Nuggets have gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. Jokic passes to Murray. Back to Jokic. Over Gilgis Alexander. Jokic, no good. His touch from mid-range, and that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Murray against Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Baisley. Inside. Charity stripe shot. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Porter's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Murray. That one drops, and it comes off an assist from Porter. Murray's got five points in the quarter. This is one of those games where we're not seeing him slow down, so we're in for something real special from Jamal Murray. Outstanding dribble drive, and that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. Getting ready for the Nuggets. Naji, he's checked in for Nikola Jokic. Brown comes in for Michael Porter. Hyland, he's checked in for Caldwell Pope. And it's Smith in for Murray. the inside. Picked it! Here's Highland. Dort defending. Gordon can't hit. And for the Thunder, they're shooting the ball at 48% so far. Pass to Robinson Earl. Dort outside. Here's Pokashevsky. Now here's Favors. Defended by Brown. Favors got six points. And Poku with the processing speed just got rid of that one quick. The Nuggets have gotten only two of seven shots to go in the third quarter. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, guys, with the yearly roster moves, it might be hard for the casual fan to keep track. But Commissioner Silver said it's a necessary side effect. He said, quote, we tried to tie performance to pay in a closer way, and I think that's what you see with shorter contracts. Brian, more player movement has been the result. Yeah, good point, Allie. Thanks. Dort for three. It's rebounded by Najee. Denver has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Pass to Gordon. Outside, Brown. Here's Highland. Three-pointer. Knocks down the triple. He's got 11. That's nice vision there. You see that pass. You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Here's Pokashevsky, defended by Brown. Launches the three, and it's Denver with a rebound. Gordon's got four rebounds now. Here's Highland. He's got 11. That one off the back iron and out. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Man, the defender really went after him. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Nuggets. Yeah, what stood out to me was their passing. They moved the ball effortlessly and have been able to find those holes in the defense. And it seemed like throughout this game, right after the jump ball, they've just been feeling it from distance, getting all the looks they want and continuing to take advantage of that three-point line. First one falls for him. Yeah, everybody knows that that Bones nickname is going to stick for quite a while. But don't let it fool you. This guy is not afraid to take it inside and challenge bigger defenders. Green's checked in for Najee. Holmgren, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Mann comes in for Williams. 
And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And with Highland, the fearlessness he brings. It's what makes the fans love him, Brent. Yeah, B.A., I like the Bones nickname, by the way. But this energy, it's infectious. And that's what Bones brings to the game. And when he gets hot, this guy tends to stay hot for a long time. Favors. When we talk about the Nuggets in their front office, they've done a great job drafting players, Brent. Yeah, B.A., when you find Jokic in the second round, I'd, I'd say that's more than commendable. But we've got other guys on this roster, other non-lottery picks like Bones Highland and give their scouts a lot of credit. And he drops a first. I mean, Favors is a quick, athletic big man. He can get to the line, but he continues to work on his ability to convert while there. one's no good. The Nuggets have gone cold here in this third quarter. Just three of nine. Outside, Brown. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. The officials were right on top of that one. Second team foul. At the line for Denver. Bruce Brown taking two shots. That one's off. And no luck at the stripe this time. Second one won't fall. Grant, it's amazing how Holmgren transforms your defense when he's on the floor. Yeah, B.A., I mean, he really makes up for a lack of strength with length and tremendous timing. He has the lateral footwork to defend one through five as well. And of course, he can block shots from any spot on the floor. And the length that Pokashevsky has out there will give defenses a lot of problems like that. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. That's good as he hits both shots. And the potential of Poku is pretty exciting. I mean, this is a very unique player, a mobile big. He keeps improving. Here's Highland. The Nuggets with another miss. Oklahoma City has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Dort against Green. Here's Pokashevsky. No good there. That would have cut it to single digits. Denver has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. And he lobs it up. The lob. Very well done. And the Nuggets lead by 14. Terrific job by Smith to dish that one off to his open teammate right there. Here's Pokashevsky. He has seven. Pass to Holmgren. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It goes on Aaron Gordon. An unusual skill set for his size. Holmgren can initiate offense from every level on the floor. I mean, his versatility is unbelievable. He's off on the first. You expect seven-footers to operate off ball. But Holmgren is just as good with the ball in his hands, Grant. Yes, he is, B.A. I mean, we've seen him go coast to coast in the open floor, take his defender off the dribble and get to the rim. And if you sag off him, well, he can just rise up and fire. The Nuggets making a switch here. Jokic is checked in, and he's good on the second. Two minutes remaining. How about the unselfishness of this team? <laughs> yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scrambled. Here's Highland. Smith outside. The three is up. The shot is good on the assist by Jokic. Jokic has got his fifth assist in this one. Pass to Holmgren. Outside.
inside Gilgis Alexander. Here's Holmgren, covered by Jokic. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Oh, it's blocked! It deflects off the backboard. Now Smith. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. First personal foul. Thirteen foul. At the line for your nuggets, Ish Smith. At the line for two. The first one falls. The Nuggets making a switch here. Caldwell Pope's checked in. And also a switch here for Oklahoma City. Baisley, he's checked in for Pokashevsky. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. Oklahoma City has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Here's Mann. Pass to Holmgren. Here's Mann. Five to shoot. Back to Dort. Fires the three. Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. Jokic has got his sixth rebound on the night. Brown passes to Smith. And a miss layup. And for the Thunder, they're shooting an average of 43% from the floor. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Here's Baisley. Here's Holmgren. Gets a very good look and converts. Holmgren's got seven points in the game. That's a good look from Baisley as passing is becoming a bigger part of his game. Smith outside. to Jokic. Shoots over Holmgren. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And so it's Denver. Up 15 points as this quarter concludes. Playing some great basketball. Holding a healthy advantage. And more NBA action on 2K Sports. Coming your way right after this. Taking a look at Oklahoma City. Gilgis Alexander runs the point with Dort at the two. Baisley down low with Holmgren. And it's Pokashevsky in at the small forward. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Shot clock at six. Oklahoma City's got to hurry. They got to get up a shot. Unloads. Pokashevsky the miss. Not a way to get out of a funk. He needs to be looking for good, solid, more efficient shots. Not the wild one he took there. Murray passes to Jokic. Now here's Gordon. The three. No good there. Here's Pokashevsky. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. There's the drive. Good work defensively by Gordon. Denver is shooting it well. Almost 50% from the floor. Outside Porter. Here's Caldwell Pope. Porter with a screen on Dort. Here's Caldwell Pope. Jokic passes to Murray. That three's off the mark. The Thunder shooting only 42%. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. 
Denver has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his second personal Well, don't forget about Jamal Murray. This guy is back. He's as good as any other point guard in the Western Conference. Taking two shots. The first free throw is good. You know, with Murray, he's an efficient, high-volume scorer with a complete offensive game, Brent. No doubt, B.A. Scores at all three levels, has a great handle. And I'll tell you what, this is about recovery. Jamal getting back, being focused to return to the game that has I'm eluded him from injuries the past couple years. He is focused. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game. Nikola Jokic. I mean, come on. His offensive focus was just second to none in this game. He really found his rhythm early and didn't give the defense a chance at all. Boy, you can see the amazing relationship he's built with the hometown fans. And it motivates him to always give them his very best. defense the Nuggets here in the fourth quarter their defense has been very strong no baskets allowed that's his first personal foul. first team foul. we're about two minutes into the fourth here pass to Dort now Gilgis Alexander, defended by Murray. Here's Mann. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. So it's Denver now. A 17-point lead, their biggest. Murray against Gilgis Alexander. Outside Porter. Back to Gordon. Six on the shot clock. And here's Porter. From deep three-point range. It's hauled in by Baisley. The Thunder have got none of their shots to go in this final quarter. 0 for 4. Pass to man. Here's Holmgren. Outside Gilgis Alexander. And there it is for him. Coaches love Gilgis Alexander and the way that he's working. He's refusing to give in against that kind of airtight defense. Watching SGA run this offense, he's so patient, and he reads the defense exceptionally well. Gilgis Alexander really plays at his pace, Grant. You know, B.A., he's one of those guys the defense just can't speed up. And every move is purposeful. No wasted motion. He methodically breaks you down. Quarter a screen. Here's Caldwell Pope. Knocks down the long J. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. They're pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Lays it up and banks it in. Gilgis Alexander's got five points in the quarter. Gilgis Alexander is such a tough cover for opposing guards, especially at his size. Outside Porter. Gordon outside. Here's Caldwell Pope. From outside, off the mark. The Thunder have gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Here's Mann. With the fadeaway. And Gilgis Alexander missing. Yeah, I have no idea why he went with the fadeaway there. The defense was nowhere near him. And he should have just kept it simple. 
Ooh, another miss by Gilgis Alexander. Denver has gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. Pass to Murray. Back to Jokic. There's the triple. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got his fourth assist in this one. Here's Mann. Gilgis Alexander on the wing. To the middle. Baisley. And he makes it on the layup. Well, not allowing that contact to trip him up. Baisley made a very athletic finish there. Gilgis Alexander against Murray. Pass to Jokic. They get it back. And Caldwell Pope gets it to go. And the Nuggets lead by 18. A stronger defensive presence would have saved them two points. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. And it's Holmgren missing. Not a bad shot from the mid-range. The D's giving it to him, and he's usually got an eye in that kind of range. Pass to Jokic. Here's Caldwell Pope. Jokic to screen. The three is up. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. Holmgren's got eight rebounds in the game. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Checked by Gordon. And down it goes. Two points. Gilgis Alexander's got nine points now in the second half. The Nuggets have gotten just three of nine shots to go in. Struggling this fourth quarter. Pass to Jokic. Gilgis Alexander against Murray. Count it. That's his sixth field goal in 12 tries. <laughs> That's a tricky little move there as Murray found a little bit of space and then got that floater off. Here's Baisley. Two minutes in the game. 156 left to play in the fourth. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Soft touch off the glass. Gilgis Alexander's got 26. These are the type of games for Gilgis Alexander where the promise of his future looks incredibly bright. Gordon outside. Here's Jokic. And in 2022, more history made by Nikola Jokic, becoming the first player to amass 2,000 points, 1,000 rebounds, and 500 assists in a single season. Nikola Jokic, two shots. The free throw drops for Jokic. Well, it's so hard to try to defend Joker. You never know what it is that he's going to do. And because of that great vision, he's got great counter. A line change here for Oklahoma City. Jokic drops them both. For Oklahoma City, they've gotten five of 12 shot attempts to go so far in the fourth quarter. Here's Pokashevsky. Pass to Robinson Earl. Clock at six. Here's Wiggins. That one a little long. For Denver, they've gone four for ten in the fourth. And this one hasn't been in doubt for a bit now. They came out on a mission, and you can bag up this win for the Nuggets. In today's game, you need to shoot it well from three. That was the difference maker. Exactly. And the defense didn't rotate out quickly enough to disrupt their shooters. And we get spoiled sometimes, but we should take a second to appreciate what a sensational performance this has been for Nikola Jokic. And you can't put a price on the value of his rebounding in this game. His effort on the glass was a game changer. Back to Pokashevsky. Here's Robinson Earl. Pass to Williams. The three ball. Jokic grabs the board. They are blowing this one open. Maybe the only question is how big will this lead grow? One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Back to Smith. 
Here's Green. The Nuggets need to get one up from deep. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Oklahoma City Ball. Checking in the game for your Nuggets. Bruce Brown. So no problem for Denver as they get the win. Boy, they were something special to watch tonight. And the crowd loving every second of it. It's always a great feeling when you play this well for your fans. This team really showed what it's capable of. All right, let's go courtside to Ali LaForce with our player of the game. Ali, it's all yours. All right, thank you, Nicola. This team showed up tonight defensively. What can you say about the effort on that end of the floor? I mean, uh, it's a whole collectively, you know, it's uh, not just one guy, it's the five guys on the floor, uh, so it's a coach, it's a bench, it's a fan, so thank you, thank you guys, thank you a lot. Thanks to all, thanks to you, Nicola, back to you guys. Allie, thank you as always. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. So long, everyone.